folks and welcome into today's video. Hope you guys are doing great out there as always. Today I got to share with you a stock that I think is the next 5x type potential out there, okay? Uh, this company just reported earnings. They just reported earnings very recently. I want to kind of run through these numbers with you guys. I want to show you what's going on here. I'm going to show you how many shares of the stock I own, if I own any of the stock, if I'm planning on buying some, how much I'm planning on buying. And there's a very interesting way I have of potentially playing this stock that actually could end up being much more upside if things kind of work out here with this one. And I do truly believe that like, this is the type of stock that has like 5x potential over the coming years really really big potential as long as one certain thing kind of has to work out for this company this is one big thing works out uh the world is theirs pretty much so i'm super excited about it i hope you guys are excited about this video if you don't mind smash the thumbs up button and uh, i hope you guys appreciate this video as always and me sharing a stock that i'm super excited about let me know in the comments what your opinion is of this stock or any stocks in this space things like that. If you're looking to join my private stock group or you just want to learn more about the private stock group, the private discord chat or coaching program, all those sorts of things, check out the first pinned comment down there. The second pinned comment down there will be if you want to join our new value newsletter email list. That's unbelievable. We're going to bring you guys a ton of value with that. Okay. So yeah, this stock's making a decent upward move. Let's run through a few numbers with this one. And uh, then we're going to get, get into it and, and all those things around the stock and the stock price and things like that. Okay. Look at these latest numbers that just came out very recently, okay? Total revenue in the fiscal 2021 third quarter increased to $60.4 million, up over 16x, 16x from $3.6 million in fiscal 2021 second quarter. That is ridiculous, okay? Absolutely unreal, guys. Absolutely unreal number there, okay? Operating profit came in at $30 million for the fiscal third quarter with an operating margin of 50%. The company's first ever quarter of operating uh, profit, essentially. This is unbelievable, okay? The company ended the fiscal 2021 third quarter with adjusted working capital of $197 million. This is not like a huge market cap company. So for these type of numbers, this is just you know, flat out ridiculous, okay? Some of you guys might have picked up on what stock this is, and the stock is Voyager Digital, V-Y-G-V-F, okay? And I want to go through a little more numbers here, and then I want to talk to you guys on why I think this stock's going to 5X and why I think this one has massive upside potential here, okay? It's a $3 billion market cap as of today. Crypto brokerage, that's what they're known as of today. And I'm also going to tell you guys about a little other way I'm kind of playing the stock as well, other than just buying the stock straight up, okay? When it comes to this specific stock, okay, they're crypto brokerage today, but I don't think that's the only way you should look at this company is, oh, they're just a crypto brokerage. That's all they're going to be. Uh, I, I've heard the CEO talk many times. The CEO comes over from E-Trade, used to be a VP over at E-Trade, okay? I think longer term, they're going to get into stocks, okay? They're going to become a stock brokerage as well. I think longer term, I can envision where essentially you can trade out of a crypto and trade straight into a stock all inside the app, okay? And basically you can convert the money, it'll convert the money for you and all these these, these things will kind of be interchanged and it's, a, it's an experience that most brokerages just don't offer right now, right? Uh, some of the stock brokerages have tried to offer a few cryptos, but they offer very few, okay? I think Voyager has a, has a true opportunity in front of themselves to be a true stock brokerage and a crypto brokerage all in one, probably within the next, I would say 18 months, which would be pretty amazing turn time. But with the team I see them building out there, I think that's a possibility. Checking accounts, savings accounts, debit cards, credit cards, all are products that this company has their eyes on. And the CEO has spoke about these, okay? So I think if you're just gonna look at this company and say, they're just a crypto brokerage, I think that's um, I think that's a mistake. Okay, let's just put it that way because I think they're going to become much more than a crypto brokerage over the next eighteen to twenty-four months, and I think you're going to see a ton of new products and services come out of this company, and they're growing exponentially their user base right now. Okay, now. As far as 52 week range, anywhere from 15 bucks, $23 or so. I mean, uh, that, that's not an accurate 52 week range in my opinion. It was actually lower than that. So Yahoo Finance, you know, Yahoo Finance is a little little funny nowadays, okay? Sometimes their numbers aren't, aren't the most accurate, but needless to say, it got all the way up to almost $24 at the highs. That was when crypto was kind of peaking out there, okay? Look at this. Voyager reported another record period with strong third quarter results. The momentum has continued into the fiscal 2021 
fourth quarter to date as we continue to see an acceleration in all our key metrics. That's that's important there, guys. As we continue to see an acceleration, acceleration in all of our key metrics, said Steve, the CEO okay, and co-founder. It is clear that Voyager's strategy to be the most consumer-friendly, transparent, and easy-to-use platform with lending offerings of altcoins and interest-yielding assets has gained significant market share. Our focus on wide range of coins has continued uh, to be basically a long-term economic model with fiscal third quarter operating margins increasing to 50%. Given our success to date, we anticipate that our operating margins should continue to scale in future periods. Also very important, okay, operating margins should continue to scale in the future periods, okay? So this business is... You know, they're already starting to reach profitability, right? But they're expected to potentially reach much higher levels of profitability. They're hiring like crazy right now over at Voyager. They're adding substantially to their basically their employee base, which I think is very, very key. Okay. Now, look at the growth for this company. Okay. They're expected to do 26 cents of EPS basically in the current year. Don't be surprised if they blow that number out of the water. Okay. Look at this 11,000. 390% revenue growth expected in current year, okay? I've never held a stock in my life or anything even remotely close to a company growing 11,390%, okay? I've had so I've held some strong growing companies that are growing revenues, you know, 30%, 40%, 50%, maybe even 100%. But I'm telling you guys, or maybe even a few hundred percent, right? Like a GGCTF, something like that. Maybe a a very good food company, maybe a planet. But I'm telling you guys, this is this is a whole different trajectory. Okay, eleven thousand three hundred ninety percent. That's only usually the type of numbers you get an opportunity to if it's like a private company or something like that. That's ridiculous. Okay, and the the funniest thing, the funniest or craziest thing about this is, I wouldn't be surprised at all, guys if they actually crush that number. That's the most ridiculous part. Like if I had a bet on it, I bet they're, they're gonna crush that number even. Like how can you have how can you have expected 11,390% revenue growth and I think you're gonna smash it. Like that's just nuts, man. As far as next year, analysts as of right now, which are only a few analysts that cover this stock, right? Analysts as of right now have them growing revenue 173% next year. No one really has any clue how much they're going to grow next year because there's so many various factors in this, right? What happens to the crypto market? Does the crypto market heat back up? Does it stay around here? Is there a lot of volatility, meaning a lot of trading volume? Obviously, Voyager benefits from a lot of trading volume, right? The more trades that are going through, especially if they're at higher prices, usually a very, very good thing for somebody like a Voyager who's making fees in between there, right? And, and kind of taking their cut, right? So what happens with kind of all that? What happens with new products and services? What if, uh, you know, high probability they launch a debit card product, high probability they potentially get into the stock brokerage game somewhat soon, right? What happens with all those various things, right? And so these are all factors. And also as this company scales and they become bigger and bigger, other people tell other people about it, right? Oh, I, I, hey, I heard you bought some Bitcoin. How'd you buy that Bitcoin? Oh, I, I have it through Voyager. Oh, cool, let me download that, right? So that's another factor to kind of think about there as they scale and get bigger, it, the, the, the name just gets out there more and more. Most people didn't even hear about, most people never heard about Voyager Digital, prior to, probably prior to re- doing this video right now, but the rest of folks probably never heard of Voyager prior to six months ago, right? All of a sudden it's come on the radar, Tons of people are starting to use it. They're getting mass adoption out there. And next thing you know, their revenues are going absolutely crazy, right? And that just kind of builds on itself, builds on itself. Look at next year's profitability, expected to do 76 cents. Once again, I think these are big wild card numbers. I don't think anybody really knows what the heck's gonna happen. But what I can say is, is you know, even if crypto is not in some type of roaring bull market, I think Voyager is in a really good spot, don't matter what. The only scenario I can see Voyager being destroyed in is a scenario where all of a sudden no one wants to buy crypto anymore and no one's interested in crypto anymore. I think that's a pretty unrealistic scenario, right? Um, you know, we can definitely have big dips in the market. That's definitely possible, okay? But in terms of just everybody just all of a sudden losing interest in crypto, that's a little hard for me to believe, right? It's still kind of early days there in, in the crypto game, obviously, right? So yeah, Voyager. 
Coinbase, right? So when it comes to Coinbase, I look at this company and how it relates to Voyager, right? Coinbase is trading at almost $65 billion market cap right now, right? You could make an extremely, and I'm talking extremely strong case, that Coinbase is severely undervalued right now. Severely undervalued at a $65 billion market cap. When you look at the type of growth Coinbase has and the type of profitability this business model has, you could make a very strong argument that this company is significantly undervalued right now at 65 billion. And so when I look at Voyager at 3 billion, I say this is a company that I could definitely think has a potential over the next several years to get to a place where they have a 15 billion, if not more than a $15 billion market cap. Coinbase, once again, assuming people continue to care about cryptos and continue to be interested and there continues to be progress in the crypto space and becoming more and more relevant, right? I can definitely see a day when Coinbase is not that far in the future either, where the company's 100 billion plus, okay? So to imagine Voyager being 15 billion is not very hard for me to imagine at all, okay? And so yeah, that, that's kind of how I kind of think about it in relation to Coinbase and Voyager. This stock's probably really undervalued and it's trading at 65 billion. Like, you know, Voyager's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and they're growing at a, obviously a much more rapid clip than Coinbase, right? Coinbase looks like their growth is kind of lame compared to <laughs> Voyager and yet Coinbase is doing amazing numbers, like just phenomenal numbers, okay? Now, as far as me in relation to the stock, am I interested in buying more of the stock? What's kind of the secret thing I'm buying in relation to this stock? I want to kind of share that with you guys and my thought process there. I've hinted around to this a little bit in the past and whatnot, and I kind of want to get into this a little bit. So in terms of the stock, as of right now, I own 8,888 shares of this stock, okay? And I am interested in buying potentially more of the stock, okay? Not a ton more in the stock but I can see myself getting up to $200,000 maybe in the stock, maybe $250,000, assuming the share price doesn't move or something like that, somewhere around there. I wouldn't mind, maybe maybe I get up to 9,999 shares of Voyager, okay? Somewhere around there roughly, all right? That's where I would feel comfortable on a risk reward standpoint for, for Voyager. Whoa, that light just, woo, man, that's a bright one, okay? <laughs> That, that's where I would feel comfortable, right? Because I think it has 5X potential, but at the same time, I do gotta think about downside risk and I gotta think about, well, what happens if, I don't know, everybody just stops caring about crypto and it crashes and it's just down for many, many years and it's just kind of in a lost space. So I gotta, I gotta think about both sides, risk reward, right? So I'm looking at it and I'm, I'm, I'm definitely gonna probably uh, buy some more shares like Voyager, okay? But there, there's something more even interesting that I'm actually doing right now in relation to Voyager, okay? And this is a, this is a kind of a, another bet on Voyager being successful, okay? So I can buy the stock straight up in Voyager, and obviously if Voyager thrives over the next five, 10 years, my shares should continue to appreciate over time, and next thing you know, all of a sudden, my $200,000 in the stock is worth you know, $500,000 is worth a million dollars, is worth $1.5 million, right? And that's great. But there's something else that I think might even have potentially more upside if they execute on this properly. And it could actually way outpace Voyager's stock price, okay? And this is really key. Voyager token, VGX. This is the number one cryptocurrency I am buying right now, okay? It's $2.50 as of right now. And essentially how this works is the Voyager, let, let me explain this. The Voyager token, by the way, the, the market cap on this is uh, $555 million right now for the Voyager token. The Voyager token essentially, okay, is Voyager's attempt to kind of make their entire service and the, 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 the core of the service is the VGX coin, the Voyager token. That is the goal, okay? And essentially, they're already starting to give you nice interest if you buy VGX coin. I think it's like 7% interest rate or something like that, right? And interest rates can move around over time on what they give on that, right? But they want to build it as the core of like a reward system for essentially folks that want to be loyal customers to Voyager, right? And so if you own certain amounts of the VGX coin, the Voyager coin, then you get priority access to certain things and new products and services within Voyager, right? Maybe you get priority access to debit cards or credit cards. Maybe you get lower interest rates. Imagine a situation where it's like uh, Voyager gives you a lower interest rate on, let's say, let's say they open up a stock brokerage, right? And let's say they ha have margin, right? 
Let's say they say, okay, if you have a thousand VGX tokens, then essentially we're going to give you a lower, a lower margin interest rate on your account. That's something they could easily pull off, right? Let's say you want to get a credit card with Voyager down the road, right? And they say, okay, if you have to have a certain amount of VGX tokens, if you have a certain amount of those VGX coins, essentially, then we're going to allow you to get extra rewards. And you'll get extra rewards on, I don't know, airline miles or extra rewards if you gas up and things like that, right? And so there's all these sorts of possibilities that when you start to put all the pieces together, it kind of starts making sense on why you would want to hold this VGX coin, right? Let's say if you hold a certain amount of VGX coin, let's say they say you got to hold 2,500 VGX coin, and then you're going to get um, an extra percent of interest on your Bitcoin or an extra percent interest on your Ethereum. These are all things Voyager is going to be able to likely do over time, right? And I've even heard the CEO several times talk about this. And so when I when I, I start to picture, oh man, I almost get goosebumps just thinking about it, okay? When I start to kind of picture how all this is going to work, I start to get really, really excited about this VGX coin, okay? And if I think Voyager is going to be ultra successful over time, which I think is definitely a very much a possibility, if I think they're going to be very, very successful over time, then this VGX coin is probably going to actually outpace the stock price and could potentially even outpace the stock price exponentially as long as they execute it properly, okay? Now, it is possible the whole project fails and they never build a great rewards program with VGX. That is 100% a possibility, okay? Uh, you got to always think about what's worst case scenario. And that's worst case scenario. VGX never takes off. It never becomes ever anything, and therefore I'm, I'm stuck holding, I don't know, uh, let's say however many coins I buy, right? Which I'm, I'm comfortable putting maybe, I'm comfortable building the position up to $100,000, right? So let's say I own, um, I don't know, 45,000 VGX coins over time. I keep buying and keep buying in, and I buy in 45,000 VGX coins, okay? And the reward system never becomes anything. Next thing you know, I don't know, VGX is trading at like 10 cents or something like that. That would obviously stink, right? That would be horrible worst case scenario, right? But when I think about best case scenario and I think about this being the core of their product offering and this is like the most central point and I think about how much folks that are going to own VGX coin, how much they're going to want Voyager, the platform to succeed over time. All of a sudden I start to think about it in terms of this gives them like an ultra strength there, an ultra strength where people, it, you make like this ultra loyalty that most companies have never really had, okay? Companies, you know, great companies, big companies, they do a pretty good job of creating some loyalty with their, their client base or customer base, right? But when I think about it from this perspective, this is on a whole other level. This is no doubt in my mind, this is on a whole other level if you can get Voyager customers to all want to hold VGX, right? They all want to hold VGX because they get all these different rewards if they hold VGX coin. All of a sudden, then you build the stickiest platform that we've probably ever seen in the entire financial system. I mean, this could be stickier than like even banks and things like that, right? It's not really like rocket science. I like, you know, I'll stay with a bank just out of laziness usually, right? But a lot of times, like I could easily switch that. There's really no loyalty there, right? It's like, yeah, I just don't want to switch because I'm, I'm, I'm lazy. I don't want to have to set up all those accounts and things like that, right? But that, that's not like a, a great winning proposition, right? A great winning proposition if somebody is invested into your coin and they want to see you thrive and succeed because they own that coin and they're invested in it. Then they want to stay around for Voyager long term. They want to tell other people, hey, sign up for Voyager, man. Voyager's awesome. They just launched this. They, they, they become like brand ambassadors for you, right? And they're out there to tell everybody, sign up for Voyager. So this is where this VGX coin gets me insanely excited, needless to say, okay? And like I said, worst case scenario, it never becomes anything. And next thing you know, it's a five cent, 10 cent coin and it's just lost. I hope that doesn't happen. I don't think that's going to happen. I have a high faith in the CEO of this company and the team they're building out there that this project will be successful. And if this is successful, the coin, like I said, could probably way outpace where the stock price goes over time. Because I think the stock price could potentially 5x as long as they execute over the next several years. But the coin, 
we're talking a whole different levels because the way cryptos are valued and the way stocks are valued, they're not the same or even remotely close. Cryptos obviously get huge premiums to them, okay? That's just the way it is, right? And so needless to say, man, I'm, I'm jacked up about VGX coin. As, you know, if this one continues to stay around here or falls further, I'm going to continue to buy in. And I look forward to kind of seeing how they build out this reward system over time. As of right now, it's just like you get some really nice interest on holding VGX coin. And, you know, I think they, they might even have put in something where you get higher interest on other coins. But longer term, over the next 12 to 24 months, I'm looking to see rapid progress when it comes to VGX token and uh, kind of what they can do there and making this the core of the Voyager platform and making sure you know everybody that 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 wants to be on voyager wants to own that coin and hey maybe it becomes such a successful crypto over time maybe people that aren't even on voyager want to hold voyager and want to buy voyager token right because they're looking at it and they're like there's some money to be made there man that is another factor to kind of think about so yeah vgx token is 250 today um yeah i you know there's a high probability i continue to actually buy vgx token until i have about about a hundred thousand dollars in it um, as far as current value. Once I get hit about 100K current value, I'm probably good with it. That's my risk level I'm willing to take in a thing like this. But yeah, I'm excited, guys. So hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, I appreciate you guys being here. If you want to learn more about my private stock group, the private Discord chat, all those sorts of things, check us out. It's the first pin comment down there. that will put you to a video that kind of goes into depth about what's included in the private group and things like that. And then if you want to check out the, the new value email list slash newsletter list, check out second pin comment down there. Much love as always, guys, and have a great day.